I'm looking away is because I'm looking at the other screen. Because don't, I... don't worry about it. Don't okay. worry about it. Do your but thing. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning, and thank you for jumping on. I know this one is an early one, but you know it's Memorial Weekend, so we got to do what we got to do. Um, but today I have some questions. I have um, was looking now through the Facebook thread. We have uh, questions on from people who can't jump on the call, very specific questions, so we're going to address those. And, um, you know, you guys have been going through all the different assignments, and I'm going to be honest, I've been trying to find all the damn things all the posts and I'm like I keep squirrel because I'm in the key so I'm like a little distracted but I know we talked about you being the CEO this week which is a big important one um, and I know you guys are moving forward and doing your thing but you always need to remember that we're here to mentor you and support you but at the end of the day this is your business and you have to run it the way you see fit the way it feels good to you and also the goals are yours. So, you know, make sure that like we've talked about every week, have a plan of action, know what you're pushing for every single week. Um, have do you work with your planner so that you know that you're staying on track and that's what CEOs do. I mean, if you had a standard uh, brick and mortar business, you wouldn't just close it because you didn't feel like showing up on a particular day. Like you have to show up and it's part of the journey. So, own your business and we talked about challenge groups which are really important because we are a results driven business right and it starts with a path for me I mean I've always believed since day one that um, the reason why when I started I was already so passionate about it, even though I didn't know a lick of what was going on it was because I was in love with the products and that is the heart of this because how can you talk to someone if you don't believe and it's belief in the products, belief that you, that you can get results, that the business will work, you know, that our community is top notch. So it all stems back to belief and challenge groups. You can run them in a million different ways. Everybody has their own system. Um, it, it's just a matter of you bringing people in and then doing your best to mentor them. And I know I had this conversation with someone the other day. She was a little frustrated and with, you know, some of the, the people she had sold challenge packs to, she felt responsible for the fact that these people weren't engaging. And honestly, I ha at some point, you know, we, we obviously want the best for everybody, but we cannot force people to show up for their fitness. Our job is to, you know, reach out to them, hold them accountable. But at some point, if they're not doing it, we have to love them where they're at. And you can't assume responsibility for someone who's not willing to step up to the plate. So um, there is a fine line in my opinion, but you should be planning your challenge groups every month. If you wanna um, hold a one that doesn't really end, an open-ended one that works, that's kind of where I'm heading now because the starting brand new ones every single month was really not working for me me personally. Um, so you just got to figure that out. And um, speaking of challenge groups, I know one of the questions was, how do you host a free group? Roxana dropped that question. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't do free groups. Um, the free groups that I do like are the ones my sister runs for Diesel Nation, the Expo, like the Fit Fam one that we're hosting right now. I think that's a great uh, style of free group because it's an information-based free group and where you know there's a lot of energy they're getting to see all the transformations from our team they get to hear from our with our stories and I think that's impactful but I mean we have clean week so you know leverage clean week clean week is before the paywall so all the videos are you can access them without paying for them so you know if you're gonna run a free group use clean week and Megan, you know, she's the next, you know, the next program coming. So I think that's another great idea to expose people to her is through clean week. Um, other ways with all the sample workouts, I actually did a blog when this whole Corona thing started. And, and in my blog, I listed all the free sample workouts. You can do a free group for like five days and then drop each day a sample workout, maybe a free recipe. Um, things that are simple. You don't want to give too much because you want people to 
get a little a little taste and then come back for more right susie like you want yes. them to want more like yes. just a little taste and then like draw them in so I mean, you could do a uh, free group. You can do them still on the, actually on the app would be good because they're actually starting a, an account with you. Right. Right. That would actually be good because then you can actually get them to sign up with a free membership. And that way they're your customer for sure. You don't have to worry about that, but free groups um, work for a lot of people, especially new coaches, because you're like getting into the swing of things of inviting and maybe you don't feel comfortable just jumping in you know, with both feet, but it is a great way to fill your funnel. So if you're going to do it, you know, pick a day, just like you do with a regular challenge group, invite to it, promote it, and then bring people in. I mean, there's, I've done crock pot groups and that one was highly successful because people love a, the a crock pot because, it, you know, people are, especially back when the world was kind of normal, people were busy and that you just dump everything in there and you go. Um, and that group was really successful. So that was one of the questions. Do you want yeah, to and you're giving value with the crock pot too, because yes. at the end of the day, you're giving the recipe, they're getting ideas, you're saving them time. You're helping them be efficient in the kitchen, which for busy moms, you know, that's super important. So for me, free, um, free groups, I, I host them like every three months and I do exactly what Becky said. It's five days, free workouts I give, recipes you know one recipe per day and i'll do like a water challenge i'll say like That's you know cool. you gotta drop your selfie so that they could already start showing accountability and when they get that little taste, that's it. Then pretty much from there, you know, I can grab them and just ha have them as my customer. So that's a great idea. And, I, and like Becky said, it gives you confidence as a new coach, you know, so that people are like, oh, she's in this now just to sell from the beginning because you're gonna have that. Just say, sure, you know, come, let me give you value. You know what I mean? So that helps you with confidence. Yeah. Amen. We also talked about emeralds. So, you know, um, most of the, I think almost everybody in here should be emerald. I think yes. pretty much. Um, we have Karina Guzman that went um, emerald today. One of mine, she really success of 10 and emerald in her first two and a half weeks as a coach, which was pretty amazing. And I think, you know, one thing I want to say to you guys, if you're pushing for rank advancement, um, what I did with her was I, I planted the seed of let's bring in three to five people right now. Start thinking about your three to five people and then dropping Emerald, the, the idea of Emerald right away and not being afraid to put it out there. Because, you know, if you're a little bit more bold in the delivery and ex you set expectations, you know, it's already there. The thought process is there. So if you guys have people in your downline that are, you know, they're pushing and they're coming in, maybe new coaches, start talking to them in those terms. Um, maybe even saying like, you know, with your th first three to five people, you're going to make back your investment. That's the goal right now. Like, let's push to make that happen. I will help you navigate conversations. But that way, you know, we're building more solid organizations. At the end of the day, we want people, our, our ranks and our incomes to be solid, not like going like this. That's, you know, that's stressful for everybody. Um, but I think that starts with the boldness in the way that you present it to a brand new coach coming in, or maybe even a coach who now is interested in working the business, like just put it out there. So it works for me. Yes. I agree. And one thing that I'm going to add to the emeralds, which I wish I would have known early on and I didn't like, it's not that I didn't know, is that I didn't take action, was that once you become an emerald, Beachbody gives you free leads. And yeah. I urge you now that you're early in your, in your journey, organize yourself with your leads. Because every single week, you're going to see that you're going to get free customers. Guys, reach out to them. Like yeah. send them an email. Becky has an email that the entire diesel nation took on. And it's just basically introducing yourself and saying, Hey, I'm your free coach. You know, I'd love to hear about your goals and start that relationship with them because if they buy Shakeology or a challenge pack, not only do you get the commission, but you get points. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're building these people into your customer base because you can, you know, create a relationship and have them, like upsell them and have them as a forever customer. And I wasn't organized from the very beginning with leads. I kind of was like, I don't know who they are, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I wasted 
a lot of time and customers. So from very early on, if you need to have like a notebook like I do that has like my leads and my information so that you have tracker, if you're a digital person, then do it digitally, but just make sure that from now you have a section where you can say, okay, these are all my leads. Because you could always go back in there, create conversation. Hey, how are you doing? You know, follow up with them. Those are free customers take full advantage. Yeah. And remember to get those leads, you have to be emerald, at least emerald, and you have to hit success code. So uh, with success of five, I think you just get regular, right? Like the mm -hmm. BOD with success of 10, you get Shakeology leads. So um, and right now in this climate, like in the past two months, the number of leads have been more than I've ever seen my entire 10 year career, like yeah. a, a crazy amount of leads. And I have seen them come in and I've today, actually, there was one that I think was a Shakeology lead because it's, you know, I didn't get the points on the first one because it came in as a Shakeology order and that's amazing because I'm going to get the commission on that. And that was just somebody who signed up through the Shakeology page. I got one last week. I got a Shakeology lead that just free customer. So, you know, those are the perks. And Beach, Beachbody is the only network marketing company that does that, by the way, yeah. that gives leads. So it's a powerful tool, especially right now with so many people testing out Beachbody on demand. So, mm -hmm. you know, think about that. Um, keep hold your ranks, you know, that with everything in Beachbody, holding it six weeks and obviously for a lifetime is important, but, um, that's something that we have to work on. Do you girls have any questions on what she's saying on the holding of the six weeks? Because when I started out, I didn't pay attention to that. And I didn't know that either. I'm just being honest so that you girls learn. If you have questions on holding six weeks, ask now if you want to. Um, because I try to tell my coaches, it's not even for six weeks. It's, it's like forever long. Like why put a time limit? You don't want to drop rank. So that's why recruiting is king. Because if somebody drops, if you're constantly recruiting, then your rank doesn't drop. Does that make sense? Any it's going to be highly important as you get up there in, you know, in the leadership ranks at diamond and above, you know, remember, we're all tied together. Let's put it in those terms. We're all tied together. So if one person drops, it kind of affects something else. So that's why it's important for you to always be focused on, well, number one, you're having your, your team co fully committed to the products. Because if, if you, we ourselves are consuming the products, then we shouldn't have any issues staying active. If your coaches are are, are selling, you know, making commission, then we shouldn't have a problem. Um, but constantly recruiting and staying in phase one so that you're, you know, you are, are working your business, not managing a team, but working your business, recruiting, hitting success club, then your ranks should be solid. But that's the end goal with all of this is that we are all in this together and that we are holding steady because it's really important. You'll start to see it. Like it happened to me uh when i hit diamond when i hit yeah when i hit diamond i was like oh wow i didn't know about you know i figured that it affected my sponsor but i wasn't really sure because nobody really told me and then my sister dropped she dropped she lost her whole well she was my only animal my emerald on one side and i was like oh i almost had a mini heart attack you know and i'm like oh my god i have to help her get back you know and i didn't understand how because then my sponsor dropped from one star qualifying to back to diamond. And it, it wasn't until it happened to me that I was like, oh, okay, I get it now. Yeah. I get it now. Why we have to be building and building and building and not stopping when we get to a certain point. Right. Not stopping after the six weeks. Because then if you drop rank or your coaches drop rank, then you, 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 know, you, you lose opportunity to make more money. Yeah. So in my head, I don't ever think six weeks anymore. In my head, I think forever and ever and ever. So yeah. that's why I'm constantly recruiting so that if anybody drops, my rank doesn't drop. I continue to have that funnel so that I'm constantly getting all the commission and the bonuses that I've earned. So that's what I want you to think because the goal here is for you to be super successful and then duplicate it to your team. So right. the six weeks sometimes should go out the door that's like literally they shouldn't say after six weeks oh, okay i'm giving up and i'm not going to check my downline no that's a habit that you want to create forever 
Speaking of which, today is Thursday, so I hope you guys have checked your payday because today is when you see what you're going to earn, what what will be deposited next week, so that's important. Um, I don't think we've talked about the checking the drill downs, but that's something that as you are seasoned in the business, you should be doing, I, I check it multiple times a day, but you know, a lot of people do that. Like You want to make sure every single day you should check it at least once to see if there's any issues with people going inactive or, you know, you, you want to know, you want to know what's happening in your business. Okay. Is that good? Does anybody else yes. have questions on that? Okay. So yeah, the drill down or you guys get that. Be clear. Remember, I know this. Vanessa knows cause we've talked about it okay. and Melba should know too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's super easy to read, but you have to spend time there. Like, you know, looking at it and always one thing that I recommend because it has bitten me uh, back years ago is just assuming that let's say Susie's my diamond coach and I'm looking at Susie's organization to make sure, and I don't look at her emeralds, open everything, open yeah. everything. Cause I, years ago, this is, I was devastated. I was like, highly pissed off for like weeks. I had a girl, I was in 13, 13 star qualifying. And on the last week, one of my, one of my diamonds goes on vacation. And I just assumed I didn't look, I didn't open all the emeralds. And she, one of her emeralds, one of her people in one of her emeralds was going inactive. Me muero. I, I have a bad temper. <laughs> I wanted to kill somebody. Let's just put it that way. I was, I cried. I cried. I was For like, sure. I have to start this all over again. All over. But you know what? You learned your lesson to always expand your report and look, right? Because that's always. what I do. I expand my downline and I look who's active, who's falling inactive. If they're falling inactive and it's going to affect my rank or regardless i want to help them i reach out hey girl how are you you know how are things going are there any products right now that you need you know how can we get you back started or whatever it is that they're going through and i try to get them active again or i help them stay active because if you if they go inactive it drops your rank and that affects your income yeah. and your goals all the things so you have to get used to checking your back office every single day and you know that's why in my team page i put reminders weekly don't forget, check your downline. So yeah. that's something that's very important. Super, yes. Yeah, Thanks super important. That. Those are activities of a CEO. So yes. That's only yes. your business. Yes. Okay, so we had a question from Megan about talking about the Shakeology pricing with people and how people, well, I know she's, she has told me this in the past, so I guess it's still an issue. Um, just the best way to help them see the value. Okay, so. I think that this is something when you talk about Shakeology, you have to be extra bold and extra confident. I make it a non-negotiable. I make it non-negotiable. This is what it takes to be in my group. I even when I send videos, the videos that I have it all saved on my on my on my Evernote, it says Shakeology required in my groups. <laughs> required in my groups i don't that to me is like i believe 100 percent that shakeology is part of the process so if if i'm gonna invest in them they have to invest in themselves yes. and there was a remember that coach tulin yes. yes she said one time that she tells people straight up i don't have coach i don't yes. have coach Oh my God. Yes. That makes so much sense. So, but you have to be confident and, and honestly, you know, I think one of the issues here is like, we're talking about ingredients. I think that's the issue. I don't talk about that. I don't talk about, about ingredients. I talk about how I've been drinking it for almost 10 years, how my family, and I hardly ever get sick, how my kids love it, how it's my chocolate treat every single day. It's like my chocolate ice cream. It's, how it makes me feel that it curbs cravings it we're, we don't we cannot talk about details we need to talk about how it's affected your life and that when you present it like that even the fitness 
your experience, your journey. It's not about 21 day fix being 30 minutes a day. Nobody gives a crap about that. They want to know how it changed you, what it did for you, how it made you feel, maybe the improvements you made in your life. If you talk about it like that, then people, I think, will receive it differently. Besides, when I'm talking to people, I mean, everybody has their own manner of talking to prospects, but um, I have scripts I can share with them with you so you get an idea of how the flow goes. I kind of don't use them anymore because I just already know what to say. But you ask questions, you get feedback, right? So then you understand. Let's say someone says, well, you know, because I eat lunch, I, I go out to lunch every single day. Obviously, that's not is irrelevant right now because nobody goes out to lunch. But um, we're not allowed to go to lunch anymore. How <laughs> sad. It's so annoying. Um, so, um, where was I going? Is I lost my train of thought. No, you were saying that when people spend, they spend, they go to lunch every day and they spend ten dollars, right? Eating garbage because that's usually what people do. And you know, right there, you already have like ding, ding, ding. This person is spending fifty dollars a week during the week to eat lunch out. If they would. Um, if you, if you, then you can talk to them and say, well, look, you can replace your lunch with Shakeology. It's half the price on a daily basis than you're spending. Plus the nutritional value is like apples and oranges because the, it's like Shakeology up here. It's like the Mercedes Benz, whatever they're spending it on is probably like a Civic. And, you know, you're getting so much more bang for your buck. I understand it's $130 at one shot. But at the end of the day, it's saving you money and you're getting healthy and you're going to lose weight because the calories are way less and they're higher quality. It's how you present it. But if you ask questions first and you get a general idea of what's going on in their life, then you can crush the, the, um, the objection, objection. Yeah. because they gave you the answer. They're telling you what the issue is, but you have to be bold in that and confident in the response. Like, this is what I think it is. And then you back it up. Let Beachbody explain the science and all that with a video. I always send a video. Let yeah, Beachbody you. explain Beachbody on demand. Let them explain the all access challenge pack. Let them explain the workout and Shakeology. Oh, they're interested in this. I have all my videos saved in my note. I send it to them. Okay, did you watch it? Okay, cool. What do you think? You want to get started? Yes. You know, you have to do the front end work, find out what the issue is, send them the video, then you can talk about objections. And there's ways of doing that. Bonnie gave us a bunch of um, responses to objections the other day on the call. Like, you know, you are allowed to say, yeah, but, and I do it. Yeah, but you told me that you spend $50 a week out on lunch. If you spend, if you, if you invest in Shakeology, you're spending less, way less money. It's how you present it. Yes. It's how you present it. Yes. Yeah, Vanessa. Wait, okay. There you go. Um, yeah, usually when I when I get that, I break it down by day. I think it's like eight dollars a day if you're doing the twenty-four or five. Um I mean, it, that usually sells them. What I, I do have a question though. I know we've talked about the same um, customer though. Um, they're asking me, I, I remember asking you if the shakes had soy and even looked online and it said no. Today she asked her son and he says, mom, it has soy because she's saying that. She said, when I look at the allergen statement, it says soy ingredients. Those are like the questions. Is that, that, is like, so, that is, it does not have soy. It it says it may. It's manufactured in a plant or something. That's like what that. I said. So, I said for, I go from that. It reads that product is manufactured where eggs, shellfish, and soy products, exactly. but not that the product has it. Everything but I can call has for that you. statement on it. By the way, even the That's what I want to show her. has that statement on it. That's what I want to show her. It's the same customer that's had questions. So I, you know, it does um, not have soy. It does not have soy. So should I call or, I mean, should I just say that it does not have, I mean, that's what I read, but coming from me, like, how would you respond to her? 
I mean, I'm sure you could probably you Google it or maybe even in the coach online office in the FAQs, you could probably even find, I'm sure somebody has asked that question. Look for that right. and you could, the, the FAQs you can send to anybody. That's not like a coach online office thing. You can do that okay. to Google, send it to her so she can read it. But I know for a fact, Herbalife has soy. Be, it, Shakeology does not. I know that for a fact. Okay. It's just, um, yeah. I, I, I want to add to what you said, um, just so that you're, you're clear. So it's not $8 a day. Are you calculating it based on 30 days? Well, if it's the bag, yes. If it's the 24, no. So you calculate it based on the 24 packs? No, it's a, if it's $130. Round right, I did the math when I spoke to him. So if it's 130 divided by... 30, it's four, 33 a day. Yeah. Right. But and that's the whole the packs, bag. Yeah. But if you do yes. the packs, it's $5. It's not $8. Yeah. Five right. forty one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I always do the math when I do it. I was just. Yeah. Okay. I it just is. Want to be clear because I yeah. want you to just make sure that you tell them it's not eight, it's five. And this is one thing that I just want to piggyback on what Becky's saying. I get a lot of objections for it's too expensive. My literal response is. Yeah. It's five forty one. Yeah. Right. I say, really, compared to what? Expensive compared to what? Because yeah. if you tell me that you're going to go get a Starbucks coffee, you're going to spend $5. So and at coffee. the end of the day, in your head, it's $5 because that's an excuse. But it is not expensive because compared to a coffee where you're getting zero nutritional value versus you're getting a meal out of Shakeology. Mm -hmm. So you have to be confident in objections. Yeah. When they tell you it's expensive, great. Expensive compared to what, my dear? And I always throw in, I have lived going to Target, and I would spend $300 in Target like that. Mm -hmm. So I tell them, sister, don't come and tell me it's expensive when you could go to Target and spend two or $300 in one trip where this is a meal for you for 30 days. Okay. And I'll even share, I give it to my kids. My husband drinks it every single day. Like I'm a mom that honors what I feed my family. And I take a lot of pride in that. That's a choice that I choose to like give my family. And so you could back it up with that too. Yeah. You know, if you take it and you give it to your family, share that too. Cause people are interested in, like Becky said, how it affects your family, not the details of what's in it or whatever. If they yeah. ask you, great. But it's more about how it's impacted your family. I mean, we could literally have 10 calls on this because yeah. it's this topic always comes up and honestly, it's priorities. Like Susie said, it's priorities. Um, I just also believe that it's, you know, if you want your, your exterior to do certain things, you have to fuel it. Fuel your insides. And to me, Shakeology is exercise for your insides. Correct. That's what I've said. It's health in a glass. It's exercise for your insides. It's what makes the insides, you know, working up to par so that the outside can do what it needs to do. And, you know, if you're looking to get to the next level, I'm sorry, you have to invest. Yeah. I agree. And it's just a matter of, of that line. Now, you, I can take a hard line because I've been doing this for a long time. If you want to start them with Beach Body on demand, and then when they start, maybe they'll hit a wall at some point. Then, okay, let's upsell now. You can do that too. But again, you're gonna have to be confident in the approach. At the end of the day, you have to be confident. Yeah. Anything else on that topic? I'm trying to look for the FAQ. Yeah, I'll take a look later and see. If I can find it, I am sure there's so many questions that have been asked on Shakeology. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. There are. And I read it. It says, you know, I mean, that's like a cover all a CYA statement. I mean, literally, I've, that statement is on the box. Right. Of chocolate chip cookies in most cookies. products. You know, like maybe may producing a plant that for people who have allergies. Like, does she have a soy allergy? I mean, <laughs> it could be that, or if she has a thyroid problem, that's probably what it is. She's looking because the people that have thyroid Ask can't her. Away, I think. Yeah, but we have so many friends that drink Shakeology. My friend Fran, 
has a thyroid problem, she drinks it. My other friend Maggie drinks it. She has a thyroid problem. My mom has a thyroid problem. She drinks my it. My sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, they drink it and, and they have and they have No, thyroid. and it specifically says it, it like you said, it's the plant that you know Yes, it's the plant. And that's just a CYA statement. Yeah. I know for a fact. But I'll I'll see if you can't find I just it. I'll want something in, in writing if if yeah. I can, like at least from them because right. she's she is, you know. Yeah. I just want to make sure I take care of her as a customer, obviously. Yeah. Of you guys course. know this Larry's cousin, right? Vanessa? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, she's Larry's cousin. <laughs> oh, my God, how cool. Yeah. That's my cousin. <laughs> so she's my cousin-in-law. Like, We've um, been talking Beachbody for years, and now is when I'm finally coaching. It happens, girl. It happens. Yeah. It's okay. Timing's everything. Look, Karina, too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, the other two questions are about apps and I'm not gonna lie I'm I mean one is what app can we use to unfollow people I I don't know Susie okay yes I, I can take that one so I use one called um it's called insta cleaner or IG cleaner um there's another one called smart cleaner but I'm gonna be very honest I don't use them because now I'm going to show you quickly for whoever has that question. And in case if you're not on, this is yeah, super sorry. simple. You don't even need an app anymore. Okay. Go into Instagram really quick. If you can, if you're on your phone and you're going to go to your page and you're going to go to following. So you want to unfollow people that you're following so that that number ratio, they say that should be different. How many followers you have to how many people you're following. They say that it helps with the algorithm. So if the girl that's asking this, needs that you once you click on your following it's going to tell you connect contacts and under that there's a category that says least interacted with click there and all these people are people that you have not interacted with in the last 90 days so go through this list and click on follow and follow and follow and follow because follow, if you have not interacted with them those are probably people that you have not built relationships with Obviously, if these are brand new people that you just added and you haven't had any contact, then you got to look who it is, which is why in your planner, you write down who you add, but all the people that there's a lot of times where I follow like stores and then I'm like, Oh my God, I couldn't follow them because you know, it's not like I'm going to stop going to Marshall's or home goods. So I'll just go through this list right here. And in my sloth app that I talked to you girls about last time, I put a timer for five minutes. And I just go through this and I am follow every single day because then when you get in that habit, you're on top of your game and this is easy to duplicate to your team. You don't need an, another app. Just do this, go through this list, go click, 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 unfollow all the people that you know, you're like, Oh yeah, I don't need to follow this. I have Spotify, which is music. I don't need to follow them. I already have their app. Like so many things, you know, um, shop can, whatever, like so many stores that you could just go da, 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 and you get out. And, and it's then, under following. You click under your following. Yes, the people that you're following. Go click on the number of your following uh -huh. in the top, and then it'll tell you right there. It tells you people who you've least interacted. It doesn't, Denise? Mine, mine has that. Mine has that. Mine has that. Click on the number of your page where it says following. Does everybody else have that? I'm wondering. Page. Yeah, I ha that's where I'm at, but it's not. It doesn't say. Go to your regular page. You see where it says following. The number yeah. 2988. Right. Uh -huh. Click on that. Yeah. Can you click on that? I did. I did. Look. Look, she has hashtags. Okay. Now, when you when you click on the following, give it a minute. Does your say least interacted with? No. No, it doesn't say that for them. Why? I think it's because you guys have like enough followers to. Are you a no, business I, page I or a personal page? Followers. I have. Are you a business page or a personal page? I'm a business page. I have page. business too. That's but what I think it, is. it depends on how long. Because I made mine business too. I can see, like, promote and view insights. Uh huh. When I do I'm the page. When you're following, you're following. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I she did, that. but it's not there. Oh, does it? I'm, it? I'm saying that I did, I did, I made it a business too, and it's still not showing me that. Hmm. When did you make it a business page? Not too long ago, obviously. I've only been doing this since January. Okay, see, it's so not there. Does yeah, everybody I, else see it or is it just me? I see it. You, you, you see have yours, it? Esther, you see yours? Denise, do you have a business page? 
I don't, I'm not sure. I got to check now. Okay. If you don't see it, it's probably because so you have this Vanessa, yeah, you know what? Then maybe you do need a, a, a like a cleaner app for now. Okay. But check this because once you get this, and it could be that, you know, maybe you don't have enough followers, but once you have a business page, I love that it lets you look at all your insights, which is important. So if you need a cleaner app for now, get cleaner. It's called IG Cleaner and Smart Cleaner. But for okay. those of you that have this, it's easy. Just click, you click on that and you unfollow every day and just get in the habit. If you want to do like five minutes a day or if you want to just put a number like, okay, I'm going to unfollow 50 people every day, just go mm -hmm. down that list. And what I was going to tell you was that once you click on that list, if you go through the entire thing and you run out of people, get out, go back in, and it gives you another list of more people. So it's awesome to be able to unfollow people this way if you don't want to be like going through another app. So that answers that question, right, Becky? Yeah, that was good. I, I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, we, Becky, I don't know if it was yesterday or today that I text you to add um, someone that's interested in the business. Was it too late to add him? Remember? To where? To the DM. Yeah. So I sent him the link. So now he was referred to me through one of my discount coaches. Okay. And the question is, uh, I received a, um, I re he received my invite. And he's confirming with my discount coach because you know how it says who invited you. I told yeah. him about the love list. So he wants to make sure that that is correct because he wants her to get credit if he signs up. But she's a discount coach, so it should be me. No? But is she the one that's making the sale or you? No, it's going to be me. She doesn't want anything. She sends everyone to me. She doesn't want... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a big deal. That's just so that, my, so that my sister knows that random people are not going in the group. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, just so that we know that someone was referred you in because we've had in the past these expos where people just dump a bunch of people in and they don't even know why they're in the group. And then they're like, okay. oh my God, what is this? We don't want that. We want interested people so that's why they put that requirement of drop the name of the coach okay 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 sorry no it's okay oh, that's a good question because we're gonna keep doing those things so that way you know yeah um, mm -hmm. oh shoot i lost the, the oh the last question was hold on was this some i Damn. see it here megan well megan has another one is there an app that schedules posts to okay. facebook personal page and instagram all the ones i find are for business facebook so, okay, I, so I used to use Hootsuite back in the day and I actually Googled it before we got on and Hootsuite, it's still a thing. It still, <laughs> is, it still works. And Planoly, I gave it last time on the last call. Yeah. Planoly also schedules, um, I'm almost positive it schedules your personal page because I've used it to, to my Instagram, right? It does, right? Esther? Yeah, so Planoly is another one. I had talked about it in the, in the other call. Um, and then Roxana, the last question I see here was the one about the free group, which you already addressed, Becky. Yeah. Yeah, that was. And how do you well. transition the participants of the group into being a client? It's like you said, it's giving them that experience and having that relationship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to be a coach, like help them get some kind of results in five days. I mean, some people do, but maybe they just feel better in five days. And, you know. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Do you girls have any other questions? We could open it now for just other questions and answers. We've been on for. 40 minutes so if you girls want you know take another 20 minutes if not then you know you tell us but we're here for you to answer any questions um any concerns any struggles anything that you want to work on anything that you need more of information that's why we're here girls and we have one week left next week will be our last call so take advantage yeah. because after the full 30 days you girls want to feel super confident in mm -hmm. moving forward and just being bold about, you know, taking action and hitting your goals. And Becky can close the call with a message she has about boldness, but I want to know, is there anything else that you have on your mind or that you want to talk about or you want to answer today? Good. Everybody's good. Yeah. How are your hustle hours going based on the last call that we did? Not so good. Not so good? No, I've been doing it. I, I've but... done it like twice, I'm going to be honest. Right. My so, thing is inviting. 
I think at one of the, was it yesterday or today? I'm sorry, my days are running together. You said you, you, um, you are the CEO. So that was helpful because I wrote down, okay, like shut it down. It's, you know, sometimes I'm supposed to work till 5.30. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. and I have to stay till 6.30, especially mm -hmm. if certain things, you know, you guys yeah. worked, a, you know, a corporate job before. So all that to say that I was like, shut it down at 6.30 do you know refresh walk your dog take a shower do your hustle hour before you go to bed because you're gonna be sitting here taking assholes call and so that was helpful. i'm sorry I'm so it's okay so can i suggest um just putting a timer or an appointment in your phone every yeah. day to promise yourself and honor your word that you're gonna work your business and let's say every day, like at nine o'clock, let's say like Becky and Becky started this thing with the quarantine that every day at 12, we were going to work out together. And I'm going to be honest, before that, I was all over the place. I would work out at nine. I would work out at 10, sometimes at Hi. two. So. Hi, DJ. Hi, DJ. That's DJ, right? Yeah, yeah it's DJ. DJ. Yeah, my, my older son. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I was all over the place and now because she made it like hey let's meet at 12 now it's an appointment with me now it's a commitment now I work my life around that workout you got to do the same for your business girls because if not it just doesn't get done that's just the reality and I'm going to be even more honest a hustle hour is not fun but you've got to find the joy in knowing that that hustle hour is going to get you to the other side that you want to get to and that's what you need to do which is why I mentioned put a playlist light a candle get your little coffee and or tea or whatever at night and when you're going to do your hustle hours sit in an environment where you're going to be like i i feel good collaborate with these girls right here you have already the advantage that you've seen each other a few times reach out and say hey denise yeah. do you want to do a hustle hour that builds connection that builds confidence that's how i started I grew balls and I was like, you know what? Do you want to collaborate with me? Let's do a hustle hour with other people. Now they're my success partners. They help me grow and I in turn give back. And you build connections, you collaborate with other leaders, and you feel confident when you have other people on your side. So yeah. honor your word. If you're going to work this business, then set that appointment and do not cancel like you do not cancel your appointment with your doctor. It's the same thing. Or your job, you report every day at nine, well, you're gonna report every day at 9 p.m. for this business and dedicate an hour. Guys, we can do it if you want the income and you want to grow the business. You just have to commit. You just can't be like, well, it's, you know, it, you know, you can't be all over the place. It's honoring your word and getting it done. I'm gonna set my alarm right now. Do it. <laughs> Guys, I, I did it when I was working full time and I literally would wake up at 4.45 in the morning so that I could start working out at five. And back then with the, uh, there were hour long workouts. So at six, I was like, okay, now I gotta I have a few minutes to check in my team page, do the challenge group thing, go take a shower because I had to drop off the kids at preschool by like 7.15 because I wanted to get to work early so that I could leave early. And listening, I would listen to calls in the car. I would make calls in the car. When I was going meeting to meeting, I would talk to coaches, to prospects. I would work during my lunch hour. I, I would go into the car and, and listen to the national wake up car. I did whatever it was, wherever I could find pockets of time. And yeah, I w it was a little erratic because I'm not like a very scheduled person. That's even in my old job, I was very like, squirrel and there i go off to do something else like that's the way i operate i don't know so i did the same thing but it was like all day long i was like and by 8 30 i was exhausted i'm going to bed everybody knew 8 30 i'm out don't schedule anything with me at 8 30 because i'm i'm in bed but so that's time, time everything else early as productive as possible so what time did you do your hustle hour because i'm a morning Throughout person the day, wherever i could find Throughout time the day. Yeah. Well, yeah. So if you have to do 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes during lunch, 15 minutes after work at 6.30 when you're walking your dog, get on the phone and 15 minutes before you get go to bed and do it like that too. Yeah. You got to find what works for you. It doesn't have to be one solid hour. It can right. be broken up. Right. And if you feel comfortable doing that, okay, I'm going to focus in the morning when I'm fresh, I'm going to do this. And then in, at lunchtime, I'm going to take 15 minutes. I'm going to focus on following people or whatever, checking mm -hmm. my Instagram. Then the other 
time you do it after work so that you don't feel like so you know they understand it's a lot but you know again these are the activities that lay the foundation for income and for growth yeah so i guess you gotta ask yourself how bad do you really want it right that's helpful becky because i'm a little squirrel too so i can relate so and i'm a morning person i wake up oh like then you should probably try to do the the meat of it then in the morning Yes. The, yeah. the meaningful stuff, get it done early if you're a morning person. Because I'm sure you wake up very early. I know mm-hmm. you do. So you're probably extremely tired by the time night rolls around. And that's the last thing you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I've been this time around. I'm like, when we have team calls at night. You're dying. Yeah. But I'm, I'm like, clean up your emails. Do something. Because I, you know, because 8.30, I'm like, bye. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes okay. that's but yeah, that's, thank you. You're welcome. Denise, you had a question about inviting that you said that that's where you struggle. Okay, what exactly is it that you struggle? Can you share with me? It's a mental block, I think, at this point. Because um, I don't feel that I have that connection with the person to do the invite. So it's more of the cold market. Mm-hmm. So, um, so if I they're think- following you, do you feel comfortable inviting them or no? If they're following you, they're already following you. They know what you're about. They know you're about fitness. Do you feel comfortable saying, hey, girl, have you ever I didn't thought think about it like that? Well, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with your mental block because you got to become a boss in inviting. I'm going to be honest, like a boss. If you have that fear, you won't grow. That's just unfortunate. And I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love because I want you to succeed because I'm not here to be like, hey, right, Denise, I get you. I'm so sorry. I know the inviting is hard because it's not going to get you anywhere. So I'm going to show you exactly what I just did this morning. And I literally went into my stories and I clicked on to see who's looking. And there's a couple of people here that I have no idea who they are, right? And just this morning, I messaged a girl and she already wrote back to me today. And this is her response. Hi, sure, I would like to know more. And this is a girl that I don't know. What I did was a voice message and I literally, literally did it like I showed you in the last call. And just to take your fear away, okay, I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to do it right now to somebody that I don't know. Let me give me two seconds. And I'm going to do it right in front of you so you could take away your fear. Oh, she's, she's a coach. Hold on. Sorry. Give me one second. <laughs> oh, yeah. And don't follow a bunch of coaches. No. You don't want to have your whole feed with coaches. Only follow yeah. a few that you look up to and that's it. Right. But these are people that are following me and so on. Yeah. I no, just side note, people. because if not, you're like, oh my God, all I get are coaches, you know? Yeah. Um, I get, I get a lot of coaches that follow me. So sometimes it takes me a while to literally go in here and look because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, she's a coach already. Or, so, you know, and you just, it, it takes time. It does take time sometimes to be like, okay, who can I invite? Because you have to look to see who it is. All right. So this girl looks like if, she's a coach too, sorry. Um, I have a lot of people here that are coaches. That, I'm telling you that that's why it takes time. But I want to show you the reality. Like, this is the reality. This is how it is. You know, you have to go through your list um, and basically just, you know, try to find the people that you're like, oh, you know, um, if she's following me, she knows what I'm about. So therefore, if she knows what I'm about, then that means that she definitely, you know, um, knows that I do fitness. And if they do fit, if they follow you and they know that you do fitness, the invitation should feel very natural. So right now I, I can't find anybody like that, that, you know, it's not that I haven't invited, but I will literally just press record. And this morning I said, I just looked out my window cause I did it already this morning. And I'm like, Hey girl, happy Thursday. I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to personally thank you for following my journey. That really just inspires me to keep sharing. So on that note, I wanted to invite you to my next fitness bootcamp. It starts in June and this month, I'm really trying to help women focus on mindset, nutrition, and goals. Is this something that may interest you? 
If not, that's cool too. Maybe you know somebody that needs this in their life right now. Either way, I'm so excited to hear back from you. I hope to connect with you soon. Have a fabulous day and take care. Yeah. That's, I do that on repeat, on repeat, on repeat. Once you do that often and you get comfortable, it's going to come like second nature because you can't worry about what they're what thinking. What they're thinking, yeah. You can't. That's what I was going to say. Don't worry about what they're thinking you just or what do they're going to think. What's the worst that could happen? And they come back and say, no, not for me. Great. Okay. Thank you. Next, maybe right. next time. Yeah. C can I check back with you in 30 days? Whatever it is. So, hi, Morgan. Um, <laughs> hi, Morgan. Sorry, we're Sorry, doing Sorry, Morgan. We're wrapping up a call. <laughs> yeah, we're wrapping up a call. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, no girls, that's basically, like, Denise, that's how you do it. And once you do it again and again and again, you should be fine because you'll get comfortable with it, just like you're getting more comfortable with sharing in your stories. It's the same thing. Yeah. Does that help you a little bit? You got this. You can yes. do it. I know it, it's, it, it is what it is. You know, it's not like the most comfortable thing in the world, but it has to be done. I know it's me. So I, I, mean, I know it's me. I take for responsibility because right. like, I know. I get it though. I get it. But with repetition, it gets... It gets yeah, you get more comfortable. You just have to get the mental block out of the way. Do it. The more you do it, the more it feels awesome. And then you just, you know, you, you, it's part of, again, CEO responsibility that you, that you yeah. take on. Yes, it's uncomfortable in the beginning, but the more you do it, the better you get. You know, one thing that, and we'll leave it with this, you know, I, I've always been like uh, scared of public speaking my entire life. So it's how awkward or, or how random right that that's what I have to do all the time so but one thing when I get really really nervous and maybe you could implement this my life coach taught me is instead of focusing on how uncomfortable it is and oh my god what are they gonna think I'm always like oh my god I'm gonna feel so proud of myself once this is done like I got this I'm gonna oh my god I'm gonna get to bless these people I get to help them I get to show them that uh, there's a healthier way change the mindset and like fill yourself with a different mindset and then you just once it's done you're like oh awesome like i did it i did it you know so it's don't fuel the negative mentality but shift it to how great and how proud you're gonna feel of yourself once it's done and and bless and release like it's up to them just put it out there and and if, if they're ready they will be if not maybe it'll be down the road I hope that helps. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And, and Becky was also going to just share about how being bold, she talked about it already, but being bold about, you know, inviting that this is, is a gift, like she says, and like we all say, if you go to her stories, you're going to see how she invites with a lot of boldness. And it's almost like if you feel that conviction, you know what I mean? So that's where you have to put yourself in. Yeah. Because if you're very like, you know, if you're not bold about it, then people feed off that energy too, you know? When yeah. when you invite with that confidence and that boldness and that energy, that's what people want. Yeah. Even back in the day when I first started, I didn't know diddly about anything. And I was talking about the business, even though I was scared, really, I was scared shitless. I was still talking about the business as if I had like a team. I was like a team of one. <laughs> I was a team of one. I love it. But I, I I knew that I needed to take that next step. And that means you have to do scary things. And you have to believe that you're going to do great. And you just talk about it. Like, be bold about it. And right now, we have to be bold about the words that we use. Because we do have what everybody needs. Not only the fitness, but we have the nutrition that everybody needs. We have the shake that can fuel them so profoundly and we have the business opportunity like our team and one thing that you know you got to think about all the different aspects of the the coaching community because it's not just income I know I talk about income because the, I started for income I didn't I didn't even know there was a community when I started that that meant nothing to me like the team that we started was a brand new thing like I didn't even wasn't in a team I wasn't in a team page I was not I pretty much not connected to my sponsor either so I was alone in this when my sister came in we started our own community so I, I, I Susie's experience and my experience are completely different I came in for income 
But now looking 10 years, there's so many different things that I can talk about the business because it's not just income. It's the things that have flourished because of it. And you have to be bold about that. You know, now, yes, we don't have events right now, but look, we're having an event right? We meet every week. We have these live workouts. We have our Zoom calls. We, we're closer than ever. Um, you know, we have the, the uh, fitness side, the community there. We have so much to offer that you got to share about all the different things. So, you know, maybe make a list of all the things that you love about Beachbody or like I did in my Spanish presentation, a better question. If it was taken away from you today, if Carl Deichler called you and said, we're closing the business. What would you miss the most? And, and make a list. Because I think when you think about it like that, like, oh, it's take, being taken away from you. What would you miss the most? And then you could do different stories, different posts on all those different topics. And then be bold about why you love it. And that's it. That's it. all I got for you. I love it. And with that, we will end our call. Take that and run, girls. But we believe in you. Yes. All right. Thank so thank you for being on with us, you guys. We will see you again next week for our last mentorship call. Sad to know that it comes to an end. I've enjoyed it just as much as I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This has been great. It's yep. good for us all. But I hope you guys have a super safe Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe. And, um, and we're here to help. So if you have any yeah. questions or anything, just reach out to us. Yeah. And go follow up with the people who are in the FitFram group. Because <laughs> it closes today. So, I mean, it isn't closed, but go follow up with them. All right, guys. I'm going to start. All right, guys. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye.